What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Julissa the Brillis. I'm back at him again with another video. Uh, I feel like we need to start vlogging, so that's exactly what we're gonna start doing. Um, as you can see, we're, we're at the airport. We at the airport. And where are you going? Where are we going, right? To the motherland. Yes. Ghana, we're there. Right. We're going back to the motherland, and uh, it's going to be an exciting journey. I feel like there's so much to talk about, so how about we wait till we get to the other side? You can actually tell them while I'm going there. What's up, y'all? We just made it to Ghana finally after an entire 24 hours. 24 hours? I'm not 24. But it felt more like than, it. Yeah. It was more than? Yeah. Oh, God. It was not more than 24 hours. We made it to Ghana and I'm so glad to be here. We're just waiting for our last piece of luggage. And Ghana is just so funny. <laughs> it's just <laughs> like you can definitely see the differences between when you arrive to other countries versus when you arrive to Ghana. Yeah. As a non Ghanaian, you're supposed to get your yellow fever card, right? Your yellow fever vaccination. And so the first time I came, they didn't even ask for it. And I was actually trying to avoid getting it, but it didn't end up working out. But anyways, now I'm back, and the lady said, Madam, please, can you give me your yellow fever card? So I tried to take it off my backpack. She said, oh, it's in your bag. It's okay. Uh, oh, Ghana. It's okay, you know. It's okay. May, may, maybe they, they, they realize, you know, you're pretty and you're beautiful. So there's no need for them to ask you a lot of questions, you know? Okay, I guess Yes, yes, by the way, we've landed safely. Thank you yeah. for your prayers. Yeah. Best wishes, you know, we love you guys all. Yeah, so once we get a shower, we're gonna call you back. All right, y'all, it is the next day. <clears throat> we are finally going out. We're going out to get some fufu, of course. That's gonna be the first meal that we have. Of course, fufu will be the first welcome back meal to Ghana. Maybe. And uh, so that's what we're about to head to. First, we gotta go downstairs by the Colossian because uh, if you ever seen my elbows and knees right now, we literally left all of the shea butter and everything in Canada because I was like, okay guys, like we're gonna have lots of shea butter in Ghana, not realizing that my elbows need Jesus. So, can I have the key, please? No, oh, no, you just give it to me. I mean, I wanna keep it. And so yeah, that's what we said today. Comment down below if you've ever tried fufu. Comment down below. prefer this more than <laughs> the ice box that we were coming from. Y'all, so we made it, okay? And I'm excited because I got my drink, y'all. I've been craving for this drink since the day I left Ghana. It is called Origin. It's like, it's kind of like, it's not really a beer, but it's, well, how do you describe it? It's a herbal beer. It's a herbal beer, okay. Yes. But it's not really like, it's not really like beer though. It's yeah. more like, it's more like a drink. You know, beer has a lot of gas, so man. But it's more like a carbonated drink, but it's herbal. So, it's really good. Let me know if you've ever tried Horrigin. Hor Hor Let me know if you ever tried Harijin. <laughs> and I can't wait for my fufu. I cannot wait for my food, so let's see how it is. So this is a place. It is called Bush Canteen in Accra. Alright y'all, the fufu has arrived. So this is fufu. This white that you're seeing is fufu. Fufu is made from... Um, 
cassava uh -huh. and plantain uh -huh. and you need to you know pound it to become as soft as you want okay that's true as soft as you want because some people have fufu hard and some people have it soft so fufu i have light soup which is like a pepper soup and this here is dried fish that white thing you see on top there of the fish is a piece of ginger i've never had ginger in my fufu before so let's see I'm not doing my mouth. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, relax. Are you ready? Ready for what? You want to take this? Oh, yeah. Can I take this? Yeah, thank you. Oh, you, hey, madam, you want to Me? Yeah, you can. I will take care of it. You said, oh, the way I'm living. It's big, oh, I'm big. You don't need salt. Oh, I'm big, bro. The thing about fufu, you don't chew it, you just swallow it. Yeah. At first, when I first started eating fufu, that was my concept I was okay with, especially with being Jamaican. I remember growing up, my mom used to tell me that I had to chew my food 25 times before I swallowed. <laughs> now, that is new. Let's see how the fish is. You can't use your fingers like scissors. Dip in the soup. Scoop up a little bit of soup in that. I'm telling you, you love it. Bad. So good, it's bad. Alright, guys, so we made it to a crown mall. The mall's over there. Alright, outside they have this little market thing going on. Let's see what we can get. I see some nice jeans over there. You guys see the jeans? I can't really point too, too much because you know these people. Once they see that you're interested in something, like it's almost like you have to buy it, you know, by force. So you can't act too um, excited about the thing. This blue dress, though. Babe, yeah. when we're walking back, there's yeah. a there's a nice blue dress. Do you see it? No. Okay, I'll have to show you. They're nice. Uh, I need that. I need it. Okay. Do you see it? This one? No. Oh, it's kind of metallic though. I don't know if I yeah. like the material. I don't like it. But it was nice for a second. <laughs> Let's get on. Let's get on. Okay. On it, on the 
jeans that I liked. And the thing, the thing about like shopping here, it's like some of the things might come with like fault. So yeah, that jean, careful. yeah, you have to be careful what you want, yeah. or what you buy. You have to like really inspect it and make sure that you know you can actually use it. But this is really cute though. I want it. I actually had a dress like this, but it was one piece dress. But I left it in Canada. Did I? Did I leave it in Canada? I don't know. So do I really need this dress? See, sometimes you just be having stuff in your closet. Like, I'm the type of person, if I already have it in my closet, I'm not exactly going to buy it again. You know? But technically, this one isn't the same. So I should be allowed to buy it. Let's look at the front, actually. Actually, it's pretty much the same. Just that this one has a little um, cut on the back. Let's see what else they got. Hello. I don't really like that material. Body is better, right? Yeah, but you know, I have a dress like this. Alright, so. I come on. Uh, so this model basically has Basically, like a normal North American mall. Like square one? Like, like square, square one? one yeah. yeah, I guess you could say it like square one. Yeah. But not the Clark. standard of square one, though. Yeah. Everybody, I feel like so many get me clocks. Everybody, I feel like so many get me clocks. Wait, you don't want clocks? No. You don't like them? I don't like the ones here. I like the ones in the mix. What do you mean? It's, it's all the same clocks. Yeah, clocks, but you know, they have some brand specific design, you know. I guess. Yeah. Alright, they got a perfume shop. Pandora. ShopRite. ShopRite is basically like like a, a Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. yeah. So this is pretty regular mall guys. Like don't let the people them trick you into thinking that Ghana and Africa isn't you know livable. It's definitely livable. We got malls too, okay? This place here is MRP. Did they change the name? Oh, was it MRP before? Yeah. I know, I'm not sure if it was MRP before, but this is basically like, kind of like an urban behavior type of vibe. Urban behavior, yeah? Let me show you why I say that. Mr. Price. So, yeah, you see urban behavior vibes, right? Okay. Okay, urban behavior. Oh, this, that's kind of cute though. I've been really wanting a tennis skirt, guys. Do I play tennis? No. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, guys, let me go shopping. Let me go do a little bit of shopping. Although, this, I wouldn't say this store tends to be expensive, but when you come to Ghana, obviously you expect things to be at like a certain price standard. And I guess that like everything that you buy, you can literally just um, convert it and see how much it costs in like USD or Canadian dollar for me. But um, you know, inflation is happening all over the world right now, so. Prices have gone up, and I am definitely uh, what would you call me, uh, frugal mommy. Okay, I'm definitely a frugal mommy, and I like to save my money. Okay, I don't like to spend money, so we'll see what I'll actually buy in here. Oh, that's cute, it's some cute stuff in here. Okay. Okay, let me give you an example of what things cost though. Let me go back to that top that I was looking at before. So this top, this is like an average, you know, urban planet, urban behavior type of vibe, sirens, you know. Is sirens still open, by the way? Let me know if sirens are still open because that used to be my place. Anyways, this top is 50 Ghana City. And I'm gonna leave what that converts into right here so y'all can see Ooh. anyways let me do some shopping and leave y'all mm -hmm. see we have burger king 
got the ice store over there. This is a cute little store called Banana. Banana has, what can I relate this to? Banana is like, ooh, forget what it's like. I need an aroma diffuser. Oh, but I didn't bring any of my essential oils down which i'm sure they sell them but you know i just have so many in the house anyways banana is like you know a place we can get a whole bunch of trinkets and trunkets random things you know completely random things but apparently they end up being things that you need for some reason somehow um, sunglasses <laughs> to oh visor I've been wanting a visor but I want a black one okay let's see how this looks on me let's see guys I really want a visor so bossy because my locks you know I can't wear no hat with my locks because hats just don't fit my hair anymore but this is also not a look, unless I'm not wearing it properly. It's not a look, right? Yay or nay, it's a nay for me. It's a nay. All right, y'all, that's it. That's the vlog. I know it's completely black and you can't see me, but that's okay. You know, I just wanted to wrap this up to not further delay me putting out this vlog okay so yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one bye